What's up, YouTube? Bam, and welcome to another episode of Wolf King's Vids. All right, so we're going to start this video off with a local story, a semi-local story. Uh, basically, what happened last week in uh, UC Berkeley was that that right-wing conservative provocateur, uh, controversial figure, Milo Yiannopoulos, was trying to give a speech at UC Berkeley. However, violent protests broke out with crazy anarchists and their duels and shit, basically just setting fires, breaking windows and, and the like, and basically just stopping the event altogether. Milo had to cancel his, his speech as a result of that. And honestly, I, I just think it, it doesn't really look good for just the intellectual atmosphere that is UC Berkeley because if you're just going to incite violence because of some guy you don't like expressing his views, I mean, how, how do you look as a place of learning? How, how do you look as a, a so-called free marketplace of ideas when you're not even supporting like a healthy debate of ideas to see which one has merit or pragmatic benefit for people. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, the best way you could actually show a person is wrong is actually have them express their ideas and critique them with physical evidence and reason logic. I mean, actually bring the physical data to make your case and show the, how your idea trumps the other one. I mean... That that's the reason universities and colleges even exist. I mean, it is really no better with this uh, scenario with Trump and his Muslim ban. He he tried to initiate that Muslim ban on on several uh, Islamic countries like uh, Iraq, Iran, uh, Sudan, Yemen, Syria. All these places they 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 weren't real big exporters of terrorism, and they're more so to do with Trump's. Uh, business ventures. He he hasn't banned anyone consistent with those 9-11 attacks. He hasn't banned Saudi Arabia or, or Egypt or any of those places. I haven't done that. But yeah, thankfully, uh, uh, I believe a federal judge in L.A. as well as Seattle actually ordered a temporary halt on that, you know, mainly because it's just, it's unconstitutional. It just goes against the First Amendment. But yeah, the executive order is, is essentially bullshit. I mean, you can't ban someone based on their religion. I mean, that just doesn't make any sense. Especially when they got family here, too. I mean, the way I see it, it it's not racist to criticize Islam. I mean, it, it's an ideology. You could be of any ethnic background or persuasion. But, you know, to say that uh, it's racist to criticize an ideology, that doesn't make any sense. But to ban people based on what they believe or where they come from and everything like that. That's just xenophobic idiocy. That's that's not to be taken seriously. You don't ban people or censor them because of their view or opinion. And you don't ban people because of what they believe. All right, that's the reality. You bring them in, actually discuss these ideas and weigh them against the evidence and the pros and the cons to actually see what is the best position for an individual or a society. At least that is the basis for free thought in a healthy society. At least I would hope it is. And I hope we maintain that in the future with this bullshit Trump administration. I just hope we maintain that spirit, you know. Sape out a dare to know. But anyway, that's my little rant video. That's that's just my thoughts. I, I like doing videos like this. I think I'm going to do them more. Fuck those uh, live hangouts. It doesn't make any sense. All right. Anyway, this has been my video. This has been Wolf King. Peace out. If you like this video, you know what to do. Later.